Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. In this week's misconception in astronomy, we are going to look at time and find out if time always passes at the same rate. So what do we know about time? Well, does time pass at the same rate? And the quick answer is no. Time can actually slow under certain circumstances. And those are when high speeds are involved or strong gravity is involved. So what happens with time at high speed? Well, this is called time dilation. The faster one moves, the slower the clocks will run. So here we have what is sometimes known as the twin paradox, where you have two twins, one stays on Earth, the other goes on a trip at a good fraction of the speed of light. And what you would expect would happen, of course, would be that because this one is moving very quickly, her clocks will run slower. So when she goes and comes back, then she will be much younger than her sister that was left on Earth. So very little time would have passed for her traveling at a very high speed. Her internal clocks, all of the clocks on the spacecraft, anything traveling at that high speed would have its time slow down. So under special relativity, the faster one moves, the slower their clocks will run. Now that's not just physical clocks, that's biological clocks, that's anything to do with a clock. Now we can also have time near strong sources of gravity. What happens there? Well, we have that time will slow down if you are closer to a strong source of gravity. So we have a satellite here. And if we were to look at a clock on the surface of Earth and look at a clock up on the satellite there, we would find that the one on Earth is running a little bit slower because it is closer uh, to the gravitational field of Earth. Now, how noticeable is this? Well, are you going to notice it? Is someone traveling on the International Space Station going to age significantly less than somebody left here on Earth? And the answer to that is no. But it does actually apply to things in our everyday life. And one of the things that it does is the GPS that we use. So GPS will then show that we have is, is really having both of these effects going at once. Because the satellites are far above Earth, they run a little bit faster than clocks on the ground. Clocks on the ground are slower because they're closer to the gravitational field of Earth. While the other thing that's happening is that satellites in orbit are moving, so they are moving faster, and that will cause their clocks to run slower. So there's two effects combined, but they don't completely cancel. And that leaves that things are a little bit off. So their clocks are going to run a little bit different than the clocks here on Earth. Now, why is that important? Well, our GPS uses those signals in order to pinpoint a location on Earth. So how is it going to do that if we're not calculating correctly? Well, we have to take relativity into account when we do these uh, calculations. So if they were not, you could easily be off very quickly and your GPS would never get you to the right location. So here we can see those satellites moving and we're looking at one location on the Earth. And as long as you have a certain location, usually about five satellites are always visible from any given location. But remember, they're moving. That causes their clocks to uh, slow down. They are farther away from Earth, meaning that their clocks will speed up. And between those two things, we have to take that into account when calculating GPS positions in order for things to work accurately. So that's one example where relativity applies in everyday life. So let's go ahead and finish up here with our summary. And what we've looked at is that we found that time does not always pass at the same rate. It will slow down at high speeds and near strong sources of gravity. Now that can get very extreme when you get to things like a black hole. But even for things like Earth, it is important because GPS signals need to take this into account in order to be accurate. So that concludes this misconception in astronomy on time always passing at the same rate. We'll be back again next week for another misconception in astronomy. 
So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.